Hello friends! This week we're going to review collective nouns. And remember, a noun is a person, place, or thing. And a collective noun is used to describe people, things, and animals. And all of these are just things you have to memorize. So, if you want to describe some animals, a group of birds, you would call it a flock of birds. If you wanted to describe a group of cattle, you would call it herd of cattle. If you wanted to talk about a group of fish, you would call it school of fish. And then if you wanted to say a group of lions, you'd call it a pride of lions. And then the last group of animals I'm going to talk about is a group of bees, and you'd call those a swarm of bees. The next group of collective nouns that I will talk about is things. So if you wanted to talk about a group of stairs, you'd call it a flight of stairs. If you wanted to talk about a group of cards, you'd call it a deck of cards. And then a group of flowers, you'd call it a bouquet of flowers. And then a group of papers, you'd call it a stack of papers. And then the last one is um, a group of grapes, you would call a bunch of grapes. And then the last section is people. And there's not a whole lot of these, but there is some. So a group of people, you'd call it a crowd of people. And then a group of students, you'd call it a class. Like you're in a class, you're in a group of with students. And then the last one, a bunch of soldiers together is called an army of soldiers. So those are just some examples of collective nouns. And your grammar and phonics assignment for this week is a choice board. And what you're going to do is you're going to pick one blue and one yellow activity to do. And you're going to take a picture or a video and post it to the Padlet. So some uh, grammar activities you could choose from are in blue. And those include a collective noun drawing. So you'd pick a collective noun such as a bouquet of flowers, draw a picture of it, and then post it on the Padlet. Another thing you could do is go on a noun hunt in your house and write down as many nouns as you can find. You could also make a prefix and suffix poem, or you could do a tic make a tic-tac-toe board with nine irregular verbs and play it with a friend or a family member. And then you will pick one phonics activity to do, and those are in yellow. So you could pick shaving cream fun where you will put some shaving cream on a plate or the table and write five words that follow the ie pattern you could also play hangman and this is where you will make a list of five words that follow the eigh or ei pattern that we learned last week and then play hangman with your mom or dad with those words you could also make a silly song using some ew words you could play charades with your family using some TCH words, or you could do some rainbow writing with some OY pattern words. It is your choice. You will pick what you want to do, take pictures of it or videos of it, and post it to the Padlet.